So this morning I am headed off to have the 3D microblading done on my eyebrows. Um, a little nervous, but mostly just excited to not have to fool with these anymore. It's such a pain. If you don't have, if you aren't blessed with great eyebrows, you feel my pain. I spend more time doing my eyebrows when I do my makeup than I do my whole face. Not to mention there are days when I don't feel like wearing makeup and it would be nice to like have eyebrows. <laughs> so I do have eyebrows, but they're not good ones. And it's crazy because when I was younger, I had super thick, bushy eyebrows. But of course, we all went through that phase where we were just pluck, pluck, plucking every single hair out because that was the end thing was to basically have no eyebrows. And now they won't grow back. For the record, I do have eyebrows. But see in here, I just, there's a couple hairs. I just can't get it to grow in. And over here, the same thing. And I, this is not because of over plucking now because it's been about three years where I've just left them alone like I don't fool with them because I was trying to get them to grow back in thick they won't so now they have this awesome thing called 3d microblading where basically they do hair like tattoo strokes so it looks more natural I'm not really a fan of the like the sharpie looking like thick brow where basically it looks like a tattoo I don't want those I wanted something more natural so when I heard that they were doing this and it actually looks like hair and it looks like your eyebrows I was excited. So I'm off to go get some good eyebrows. Yay! I'm just waiting. So it's Monday afternoon. I've been running errands. Oh, sorry, I got itch. Been running errands all morning. Went to Ulta with mom, and then we went to Target. I've been picking up, been picking up Valentines for all my Valentines. <laughs> I um, I went to Ulta and got my husband some cologne. It smells really good. And then I went to Target and got Jack some candy and little things for his Valentine. I always get him one every year. Um, and then I got Enzo a little dog toy. Since they're all my little Valentines, they all get one. And then I went and picked up some roses after I dropped off mom because I have Jax take my mom roses and a balloon every year for Valentine's Day. So keeping the tradition going, we do it every year. But I wanted to beat all the craziness tomorrow of everybody trying to hurry up and get their last minute stuff. So I got it all out the way today, this way tomorrow. No worries. An update on my brows. They're looking a little crazy right now. I was watching a video last night on somebody else that had this done and I feel a little better after watching it because what she experienced is what I'm experiencing so I know it's not me and nothing's wrong like it just happens. Because uh, the first, I guess the first two days I love my eyebrows. They look great. And now they're starting to kind of disappear in spots and I was like, ooh, what's going on? But after watching her video and she said it happened to her too, I was like, okay, it's not just me. And then I also read the pamphlet because the lady did give me like an aftercare um, instructions and all that. So after reading that, I know it's normal, but they're kind of in a funky stage right now. So I don't really like them. And then you can't really, you're not supposed to put makeup on them. She told me like two weeks, no makeup on my eyebrows. Like I could put it on my face, but just to be very careful around them. But like, I just, it's bugging me. I know I have to be patient, but patience is not my strong suit. So I'm trying, but I know the end result will be worth it. They're just, just not crazy about it right now. But that's okay. I know it's going to get better. And then I go back in, um, what, like three and a half weeks for a touch-up. Hi, son. Knock, 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 knock. Who's there? Jamaica. Jamaica who? 
to make my, to make me smile every time I see you. I thought the little bird was cute. That's that's that should have been. Uh, Jamaica who? Jamaica me smile. <laughs> Valentine's Day and I am in the bathroom you can see there by that lovely little toilet we are under severe tornado warning and apparently a few have touched down in our area so Enzo and I are taking shelter in the bathroom just waiting it out it's a lovely Valentine's Day we've woken up to huh I know so we're just chilling Juju gonna kiss mommy shave? Yep, yeah, right. Big chicken. Juju big chicken. No joke. Okay. Today has been a crazy day, but I'm super excited. So I don't know if you guys watched our vlog. Our anniversary was back in December, and I actually did a boudoir shoot to surprise my husband. But I wanted to make him a book out of the photos as well, because a lot of them. I mean, I can't print them or, like, put them up in the house. So I wanted to make a book for him, but I had to wait for the photos to come back. Sorry. From um, our photographer and for her to have all those finished. So I finally got him back and was able to order a book. And luckily, they came in on Valentine's Day. Yay! So I'm excited. The front cover, obviously. I'm not going to show you what's inside. But I do love it. The cover, it looks really cute, which I put together by myself. So I ordered it through Shutterfly and it's just, I did um, a black book. So it's black on both sides with the white binding. And then I just put this little inscription here on the front cover, but. Keep the TV channel. Keep the TV channel. She's here. There goes Diego. <laughs> Hello. Look, there's my little Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot it in the car. He's funny. Forgot it in the car. Very smooth, love. Very smooth. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. I like the color. Thank you. So, do this one first. Yeah, you can open that. First. This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. You're not going to smell it silly, it's in plastic. You picked it out yourself? Mm -hmm. So I guess you would like it. <laughs> well, you know how I almost smells, they give me migraines if they're too strong. Yeah. So I have to go and I have to smell it, but I like the way that one smells. Mm -hmm. And I know you didn't have it, so... I gave him Chanel. <laughs> oh, Chanel, huh? Oh, it smells good. I like it. Aftermath of our neighborhood. Look at the street sign. How crazy is that? And it used to be that way. <laughs> Fence down. Fence down. Everywhere. It's crazy. More fences down. So update on the eyebrows. It's been about three weeks since I had the procedure done and I do have some makeup on. So my bad, I should have filmed this without any makeup on so you could actually see. But I will tell you that I do have some dip brow in my eyebrows. It's very, very light. Whereas before I would definitely have to use a lot more product just to be able to fill in the gaps that I had, um, which I showed you earlier in the video. So it definitely makes it a lot easier when applying makeup and it's basically almost kind of gives you an outline so you just have to follow. They're already shaped. I don't have to worry about is this brow higher than the other one. Like it just gives you a nice template and makes it so much easier when applying makeup. The touch-ups, I do have to go back in about, I'm supposed to go back in a week and a half but I'm probably going to wait until after spring break because you are supposed to stay out of the sun afterwards and I want to enjoy my spring break. Um, I will say this one is definitely 
fuller than like this one over here. I noticed on this one there are some gaps in there that we are definitely going to have to go back and fill in, which that's fine. She did tell me this is something that you gradually do just because it is a tattoo and you don't want to overdo it and then you don't like it and you can't take it back. So it's definitely good that she goes like slowly, step by step. She takes her time. So we do the first round, go back and again, whatever needs to be touched up she can do and so on and so on. So as far as the pain level, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, like it freaking hurts. <laughs> it does hurt. It is painful. Um, I did watch a video after I had done it, which I think was probably best because I didn't do tons of research and like watch lots of videos. And I think, I mean, you should do your research for sure. Make sure it's something that you want to do. But if you're like a big chicken and if things are going to scare you and it might chicken you out, maybe don't watch it till afterwards. I'm glad that I did just because I might have second guessed it. I don't know. Maybe. But nonetheless, I watched it afterwards and it is basically cutting your skin, so it does hurt. Once that numbing cream kind of kicks in though, it makes it so much more bearable and easier after that. But the initial, like when she's going in and it freaking hurts. There is some pain involved, but I do think overall it's totally worth it. It's actually really nice in the mornings to wake up and like I have eyebrows in the morning. You can go out and not have full face of makeup on, not wear any makeup at all. And it definitely feels a lot better to feel like I've got fuller eyebrows. So I can't wait to see what it looks like after we do the second round. I have a feeling I'm going to like them even more. So there were a few days in there where I wasn't crazy about them. There was some blotchiness, some parts here that were kind of like, I guess kind of peeling. I don't want to say peeling, but it's kind of I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but there were some blotchiness and little things and for a few days, like the first two, three days, I absolutely loved them. And then like day three, four, five, eh, I didn't like them so much. So that after, but after the first like week, I felt like the second week they were healed. They were good. Definitely this week, week three, I feel like they're completely healed, but I really feel like after the second week, I was fine. Overall, I definitely, if it, your eyebrows are something that you struggle with, if it's something that bothers you, and if this is something that you've been contemplating, I highly recommend it. I think it was definitely worth it. Don't get me wrong. There's a little bit of pain in there, but at the end, it's totally worth it. And the fact that it does give you a more natural looking brow makes life so much easier. And it's going to definitely save me tons of time, tons of time when it comes to applying my makeup, because I would definitely spend more time on my eyebrows than any other part of my face. So it's definitely going to save me a lot of time. And overall, I highly recommend it and I give it two thumbs up.